Hello, I'm Olivia Curtis, and this is your GLTV News Brief for Thursday, March 17, 2022. On Tuesday, the Senate passed a bill that would make daylight savings time permanent. It's called the Sunshine Protection Act, and it still needs to be passed by the House and signed by President Joe Biden to actually become a law. This means that every year we wouldn't turn the clocks back in the fall. For right now, our clocks will fall back this year, and by next spring, we'll move our clocks forward and leave them there. Masks were just taken off in New Jersey schools and COVID cases in the state are down 25% from a week ago and 58% from a month ago. New Jersey's seven-day average of confirmed cases was 703 on Tuesday, which is the lowest average since late July. There were 16 confirmed deaths and 559 positive case cases reported on Tuesday. The Hilltop Players' projection of The Lightning Thief, the Percy Jackson musical, is coming up. The show days are coming up next week on March 24th through the 27th. The Hilltop Players haven't perform performed a musical on stage since 2019. Sophomore Garrett Lynn is starring as the lead role, Percy Jackson. Purchase your tickets now online before they're gone. This week at GL is Class Clash. Every day has a different theme to wear to school, and each grade competes for points. There are also new games in the cafeteria to play each day. Monday was Mario Kart competition, Tuesday was musical chairs, and Wednesday was a donut eating contest. Spring sports have begun at GL. It's time for track and field, softball, baseball, and lacrosse. Scrimmages are around the corner, so good luck to all the athletes. April is Autism Awareness Month. Students from the Special Education and ABA elective are selling t-shirts to celebrate autism and neurodiversity. Each t-shirt costs $20 to $23, and the funds will be donated to Autism New Jersey, so email your orders by March 22nd. I'm Olivia Curtis, and this has been your GL TV News Brief. Have a great weekend, and happy St. Patrick's Day, GL.